Ever thought about life in the fast lane? Well, it doesn't come much faster than offshore powerboat racing. This week, we'll be looking at two different classes of powerboat racing, two litre offshore and the V24 one design. And we'll also be meeting up with some of the racers. There are many different classes of powerboat racing, but if we look specifically at this country and also offshore racing, we have class one, which travel at around speeds of 150 to 160 miles an hour, class two, which are just off the pace of the class ones, and class three consists of four litre, two litre, and 1.3 litre. Now, a new class has emerged, the V24 One Design class. Let's meet Mike Mantle. You've got quite a history of powerboat racing. I mean, you've won the, the Cows Classic twice. It took a long time to get there. I started way back before uh, you were even thought of. I started in class three racing and uh, progressed on to two and then one. Um, and I spent time as a navigator, as a driver. I even uh, co-drove in a ski racing boat once, which is about the most scary thing because you face backwards. Mike, can you tell us a little bit about the design of this boat? It uses a Volvo Penta uh, 5.7 litre V8. Uh, it's a multi-stepped hull uh, with little wings on it. Do you think the, the wings actually give it lift? Do they work or is it just sort of a, a feature of the design? The effect is that uh, it's a bit like a paper dart. If you drop a paper dart and it's, it's been properly folded and made, it'll always uh, find a level and, and try and fly off. The wings help uh, create directional stability and also squash the air underneath them so the boat doesn't rock too much. So yes, they do work. Makes the boat um, quite fast for its size. A, a good recovery in rough water. It's really built for, for offshore racing, so it's not the fastest for the, for the hull configuration. It should do uh, between 75 and 80 miles an hour, and we've had mainly a lot of fun. We are, there are two boats of this design racing at the moment, and, and we're ahead by virtue of the fact that the other one is, uh, is still under development. But uh, the, most, the best thing about uh, racing is you race with all the other boats, and uh, you can prove yourself against bigger and, and faster boats sometimes with a good rough, rough water boat. There are many different ways of balancing a race boat to get the optimum speed. Of course, you've got engine trim and engine lift, but you've also got a ballast tank at the front of the boat, which fills with water, adding weight. more challenging to race a boat than it is to drive a car. Remember, the sea is the world's most unpredictable surface and what is 80 miles an hour on water is the equivalent of double to triple on land. The diverse nature of powerboat racing means that their engines can range from an outboard Merc XR2 to a couple of Lamborghinis, producing more horsepower than its road equivalent. Powerboat racing is by far the best sport. It's fun, it's fast, and it's full of men. 